Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another new episode of today's Youth. And today we're joined by two multitasking, multi-talented uh, students, uh, Yusuf Aziz and Mohammed Fouad. Uh, Yusuf is a graduate, is a, an undergrad of uh, uh, engineering, and uh, Mohammed Fouad is an undergrad of uh, mass communication. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Yusuf, uh, let me start uh, by your uh, community service work. Uh, tell me more about your community service work. Uh, how do you see the positive impact of this uh, type of uh, social work uh, on your personal development and on the society also? Well, um, I believe that uh, helping the community always had a side of connecting us to people we usually um, want to be a part of their lives. Uh, we try to just connect with them and give them what we can offer them and improve their lives as much as possible which actually makes us feel like we are the happiest part. Mohammed, what do you think of community service? Uh, you were both engaged in community service. Yeah, too. actually uh, both of us we are part of a uh, community service organization uh, and uh, like uh, our main target is to try to make as he said uh, these people's life like better or to kind of meet the level of richer people's lives if you know what I mean so for myself you asked about the personal development it actually affects us by you know developing giving us, your yeah, yeah, it, personality exactly it also gives us the feeling of these of satisfaction kind of so, yeah, that's kind of how it affects us. Great. We will go back to talking about community service, but uh, I would first like you to tell me more about your education. You're an engineering student. Uh, tell me, Yusuf, why did you choose engineering in specific? Well, um, I always had the dream of um, learning more about technology, so I went into computer engineering school um, where we learn a lot of languages and try as much as possible to develop computing and software engineering through um, five years in order to make shortcuts for things that we usually do efforts for right now. Mohammed, you're a student of MassCom, right? Mm, yeah, actually. Why did you choose mass communication? I think you were studying engineering and then yeah. you, you moved. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was an ex-engineering student, uh, but the reason why I left engineering was because I never liked it. Uh, although I was not the best, but I was kind of good in like regarding the grades and so, so, but I... In engineering, yeah. you, were, you, were go you were doing fine, but kind you followed fine. your passion. <laughs> yeah, right? exactly. Because I'm that type of person who, I'm not the studying nerdy type of person. I'm the one who likes and, uh, to... And neither is Yusuf, I think. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> he has also a lot of activities, but yeah. he loves engineering. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I wasn't that type of engineering student. So I, as you mentioned, I followed my passion and yeah. And, and what are your plans uh, in the uh, NASCOM field? Actually, my dream from when I was a kid, I wanted to be an actor or a singer. It was like Great. something between both. But I, like my family didn't really agree with going into acting school. Mm -hmm. So I went to mass communication. It's kind of something near the same career. Great. You know? We'll get back to singing and acting, of course. Uh, but uh, I would also like to ask you, Yusuf, about your uh, NUN. You participated in uh, uh, Model United Nations uh, at the university? Yes. Um, well, I was uh, a school student, back then, high school student, and they made the MUN uh, program. It was five days. They were, it was very beneficial where we had about three days of lectures, and then the last two days were the actual meeting and the actual uh, conference. So we tried to replicate what they do at the United Nations as much mm -hmm. as possible, solving problems internationally um, regarding refugees and environmental program. Mm -hmm. It's a great experience, of course. The NUN mm -hmm. is usually a, a great experience for uh, university and school students. Yes. Uh, how do you see the positive impact of going or passing through uh, this experience? Well, I believe um, I would have never thought of some people's struggles unless I saw these models of these problems. So you learn more about uh, refugees' uh, issues and yes, sufferings, yes, and yes. sometimes, um, it, it, like in the environmental program, for example, I learned that some wildfires are worse than we thought. 
-hmm. Some um, forests have these crops that actually are flammable, like strawberry. Mm -hmm. So they tend to, for example, take them off or mm -hmm. collect them, harvest them early. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't have learned these things if I didn't join the Amyan. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, Muhammad, you told me about your passion for uh, singing and uh, also, I think, guitar playing. Yeah. Uh, I, you also uh, have a passion for acting. This is what I've just learned. Yeah, I uh, actually not only like acting, singing. I used to be a guitar player, but then I uh, you were went trained to at the opera house. Yeah, yeah. I was. I went to the opera house, but then uh, I like went into uh, learning more about the keyboard, the piano, and the keyboard. Uh, I used to. I actually wanted to learn drums, but I didn't get the opportunity to do so. Uh, also, I really, as I mentioned, I wanted to be an actor since I was a kid. Uh, and now I'm a uh, billiards uh, snooker player. Like, snooker is a type of billiards because actually billiards is not only one game, it's actually three games. Mm -hmm. You um, play snooker? Yeah, snooker. Uh, and yeah, that's all. Okay, uh, Yusuf, uh, tell me more about your plans for the future. What are you planning? What career are you planning? Are you planning to work uh, in your um, educational academic uh, career uh, studies? I mean, engineering, computers, engineering, and so on? Well, um, I plan to start my own business regarding uh, computer engineering, but also I'm trying to learn more about graphic design and the tools. And I try my best to perfect my designs as much as possible. So it's like a side job for, for the future, but mm -hmm. I really wish I can start my own business. You want to have your own startup? Yes. You want to be an entrepreneur? Yes. Great. Uh, well, um, how do you see entrepreneurship for um, youth, I mean, for uh, new graduates? Well, um, in the recent years, we, we noticed that most of the college student, students start their own businesses regard, in regards of clothes, um, technology, sometimes leather products, and this is actually what we started doing recently. We started, uh, we're trying to start a, a brand uh, featuring um, various products of leather, and we're also thinking about using 3D printers as well in the business, so it's progressing great. step by step. Great, it's a great idea. Uh, we're going to go a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back and once again with my uh, guest here at the studio, Yusuf Aziz and Mohamed Fouad. Uh, Yusuf, uh, we talked about your plans for the future. Uh, tell me more about, uh, we were talking about entrepreneurship in specific. Um, do you think that having your own startup and uh, um, being a young entrepreneur is um, a mo much more better than working in uh, corporate uh, or in a big company, how would you see the advantages and disadvantages or pros and cons? Well, I think uh, each one of them has different ambitions. Uh, the startup or the entrepreneur always looks for different targets rather than the employed person. But I believe everyone has their own motives, though it really varies from one profession to another. Mm -hmm. And what about you, Muhammad? They, you definitely uh, have a plan for an acting career, a singing career. So this is a shift in your, uh, I mean, you're studying mass communication, but you're not actually w uh, willing to work in the media, I think. Yeah, yeah. I actually really, really like the course itself, like the mass communication course itself. I really like it. You like uh, media and broadcast and journalism? Yeah, especially like the, f the broadcasting field. You know, I really, really enjoy studying actually in like courses in this field specifically. Mm -hmm. But my, as I mentioned, I'm that type of person who really wants to follow their passion, their dream from the, like when they were a kid. 
So, so your dream to be an actor? An actor or a singer or it might be like something related to broadcasting and mass communication. La, right, uh, we're going to be having your photos here displayed on the screen. Uh, if you would like to have a look at them and uh, tell me your comments about these experiences. Yeah, so actually uh, both of us, we are part of a uh, community service organization. So this was actually one of the meetings. Uh, the, these are the other like members that are with us in the organization. And Yusuf's on the right, I'm right beside him. You're both in this uh, picture together. Yeah, You're yeah. In, in one community service organization. Yes, exactly. Great. I, I, I would, and here? This is also in... in uh yeah, this was actually in the same exact meeting, but we in took a photo yeah, in another location. And uh, next, please. Yeah, this was the same meeting. Yeah? Yes, yes. It was the same exact meeting, but we shifted places. We went from so the right to the left. So it's all in, in the, uh, your, um, with your colleagues at the community service organization. Yeah. And here? Yeah, so actually this is me playing snooker. It was in the first national championship of this season. Okay. It was uh, in Port Said, I think. Yeah. Uh, this is another, another, fo another photo of me in the same exact <laughs> tournament. And yeah, this is both of us in our graduation ceremony, like the school graduation ceremony. Uh, I, uh, yeah. Great. Uh, well, I've seen a lot of pictures for both of you in, uh, with your colleagues at the community service organization. So uh, tell me more about your passion for community service and uh, your future plans, uh, your future planned activities with regards to community service. No go on. Um, well, I think the best thing about this organization is the team. Um, we trust each other. We work with each other. and. We don't have this, like, if everyone works in their own role. No, we actually help each other. You we work together. Yes. You have a, a, the best thing, maybe, or part of uh, the um, most important aspects of community service is the fellowship also. Yeah. Not only uh, giving back to the society and, of course, giving back to people, but also uh, this kind of fellowship and developing friendships. Well, um, like I said, everyone is involved with um, either the service we do itself, projects, or um, in our personal lives. Actually, we are very, very good friends in real life, and um, we wouldn't have known these great people except with the, these experiences. Through this through, uh, experience. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, what are your future planned activities, for example, uh, for this year? Yeah, so actually, uh, this year we are planning on doing two projects. Uh, one of the projects is uh, a bazaar, like we're going to get several local brands, but the uh, only w one condition that we are, like for, the, for a brand to participate in this bazaar is that it to be 100% local, 100% Egyptian brand. So, and yeah, and uh, like we still didn't exactly decide on what we're gonna benefit from the profit that we're gonna make from this bazaar but this like it's something like it's gonna be something maybe regarding education regarding uh, regarding water regarding like something great so you're going uh, to uh, make a bazaar and then you take the profit for uh, making a community service uh, work yeah, exactly. like uh, helping uh, some people in uh, uh, like uh, education or uh, maybe uh, sanitation of water, water sanitation, yeah. Yeah. or um, any kind of charity work. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Great. Well, I see this uh, really very positive. How do you see it, Yusuf? Um, well, I think the best part is that we um, fundraise these money. Like, we actually benefit other people. Like the Bazaar, for example, we are benefiting the local brands. They are getting more customers. They are entering new markets sometimes. Mm -hmm. So. These brands actually generate profit, uh, so do we, we actually collect those, this money not for profit at all, we just serve the community, that's it. Mm -hmm. 
Great. Uh, you also, uh, both of you have experience in uh, working uh, part-time jobs uh, despite you being uh, still students. Tell me about this experience and how did it add to you? Well, it actually added to me how to deal with people from different cultures, how to be civil, how to look for solutions to problems that are very hard to handle. Um, otherwise, it was a very good experience. It may be hard, but yes, it's a very fun mm -hmm. experience. Mm -hmm. Mohammed, you also have uh, this experience. Yeah, actually, I used to work uh, as a telesales agent. And actually, it was the worst experience ever. You didn't enjoy <laughs> yeah, it. <laughs> because, you know, you get people like, you get angry people that just, you just call them, you try to sell them what you're, like, whatever you're selling. Your product. Yeah, and then they just get anger issues and, handcuffs. yeah. It's a lot of hang -ups. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, exactly. It's a, a lot difficult of job because you're on the phone, uh, I think, for uh, eight continuous hours. Exactly. Yes with half an hour break so it's actually nothing yeah yeah great uh, we're gonna go to a short break and we'll be right back with uh, my guests Yusuf and Mohammed.
Welcome back. And uh, that was a song dedicated to the International Youth Forum. Uh, did you follow the uh, youth forums that were taking place here in Egypt and specifically the International Youth Forum, which was really a very, very good opportunity for the youth uh, to mingle together with other nationalities, uh, uh, create a bond with the other youth from other countries. Uh, did you follow these uh, kind of forums? Actually, like, I, d I wasn't a consistent follower, but I kind of, like, yeah, I follow, especially the one that was in Sharm el Sheikh. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, actually, what I think about this forum is that it, um, it actually makes most of the youth people gain kind experience, of an experience with, especially in, together. yeah, exactly, communicate with each other, they get to communicate and connect with uh, people from different cultures, so I think this is a great opportunity for them, uh, and it kind of, you know, <coughs> increases the communication skills that they have, uh, it gives them, like, they kind of get the chance to better communicate with each other, they get to know um, information about different cultures, different people, so yeah. Well, uh, Yusuf, how do you see also uh, such uh, an opportunity, the International Youth Forum and also other youth conferences uh, in empowering youth? I mean, the state is doing a lot to empower youth here in Egypt through uh, such opportunities like the youth conferences, like the presidential leadership program, for example. Well, I think that uh, the best thing about this is that youth feel heard, which motivates them to do more and do more to their communities, to their societies, and actually build themselves from a much earlier age. Like, um, they start uh, learning new skills, they start working on themselves because they see their target in front of their eyes, and they want to reach there. Great. Uh, Mohammed, I want to go back to uh, one point. You told me that you're a professional snooker player. Yeah. And you participated in international uh, championship. Yeah, uh, I participated in, yeah, yeah, in national championships. Right. Uh, and actually, like, last week, uh, we won second place in the Egyptian Cup with, uh, the, like, my own club. So, yeah, and I participated in about, like, I think, seven or eight national championships and yeah that's all but okay. actually like the main problem that faces us as snooker players is that like the game is not that famous here in Egypt it's uh, yeah it's actually the number one or the number two game in England it's an English game, mm -hmm. yeah so it's not an Egyptian famous game you know mm -hmm. so yeah we don't find that kind of support you know what i'm saying you need more support uh, yeah for for this game here yeah in actually not only financial support but we just need like that kind of you know mental support not only like financial support like moral support yeah moral support you exactly need more moral support yeah for billiard and snooker uh, which is also yeah. a, a, a very popular game, uh, as you said, in, in the UK. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because actually here in Egypt, we've got like maybe the top 16 players in the ranking. Mm -hmm. So uh, actually they, are, they can like meet the levels of the professional players that, are, like, that play in England, not yeah. here in Egypt. Mm -hmm. But the top 16 Egyptian players, actually they are like one of them is a world like he won second place in the world championship uh, I think eight, eight or nine players they are the like once they were the top one player in Egypt mm -hmm. so yeah we've got several players that are that can meet the levels of professionals and that can be a prof like they can be professionals easily mm -hmm. but as I mentioned it's all about Support. Support. We're yeah. looking for more support for uh, billiard and snooker uh, players in specific. Uh, uh, Yusuf, a final word from you uh, to the youth. Uh, um, what would you tell them about persistence and perseverance uh, to reach one's goals? Well, um, the only thing I would suggest is taking more risks and doing more experiences and going through a lot of experiences actually builds a different personality. and you get introduced to a lot of skills that you wouldn't have thought you would learn in your routine. Great. 
Great. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Yusuf Aziz and Mohammed Fouad. I really enjoyed your presence. Thank you. Many thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And dear viewers, uh, that brings us to the end of this edition of today's Youth. Many thanks for watching and stay tuned for more coming up here on Mal TV International.